Hey everyone, so I wanted to make a quick video today uh, to share with you a couple of things. One, a little bit more information about me and how I got into the hobby. And also uh, an update on my upcoming room where I'm going to have my amphibians and just how I'm going to have a dedicated room to that, a viewing room. So uh, first thing is my name's Mike. I don't even know if I ever said that, uh, but that's my name. Um, I've been into amphibians for a very long time and reptiles. Um, since I was a kid, my dad is a uh, retired aquatic ecologist and biologist. Um, and so when I was a kid, we'd go camping and on hikes and, you know, he would have me flipping over logs and telling me all the things that would live under there and things in and out of, uh, ponds and streams and other wetlands and things like that. So that's really how I got my fascination with this and, and how I got interested in it since I was a kid. When I was a kid in the late eighties and, um, early nineties, um, I had some pretty elaborate setups, I thought, for the time. Um, always planted tanks, didn't really know much about cleanup crews and things like that. Um, probably a lot of things I wouldn't do today, but um, but I was always interested in, in, in going and, and, and trying to replicate what I found in nature inside of my, my setup. So um, one of, that's one of the things now that really drives me um, to go out and actually visit places where these amphibians live and take pictures and then tr literally with the picture try to replicate that as best as I can with the setup. I mean, I'll go on out to the mountains or other wetlands and uh, things like that and try to find um, really interesting formations on a rock or really interesting crevices in a stream and, or a waterfall or something that's got water seeping out. And what I do is, is I look for the animals that I find there. So maybe I'll find a red salamander. Take a picture of it, leave it there. Um, what I'll do though, is then try to replicate that exact um, scene that I saw based on the pictures as best that I can with the space that I have. And then once I'm done with that, uh, try to find a captive bred animal to put into there. Um, and so I, I really do. That's one of the, the, the main things that I do. Now, sometimes I use plants that don't grow here in the U.S. Like a lot of aquatic plants that I use, you know, I use a lot of Anubias and Java moss. That's none of this stuff is uh, native to North America. So that might actually be something I get away from. But for instance, with my Eastern newts, they love it. They hang around on that stuff all day. So, um, you know, I do make some exceptions. But for the most part, I try to find plants and that would be native to that kind of setup. And uh, that's kind of how I do it. Um, you know, again, there's, there's a few instances where I don't do that. Um, but that's really what I do. And now what I'm trying to do is, is move all my animals that I have. So I'll tell you, I have three Eastern newts, red spotted newts. They're all adults. I have two large blotch tiger salamanders. You're talking like nine, 10 inches. One of them is almost 11 inches. I have two barred tiger salamanders that I got that are about maybe six inches now. I got them when they were like three and a half, four inches. So they're growing pretty quickly. Um, I've got two juvenile spring salamanders. Uh, one still has the gills. The other one is almost morphed out to an adult already. And then I have one large spring salamander who's kept completely by himself because he would eat everything, all the other, the juvenile spring salamanders. And then I have uh, one junior juvenile northern red salamander. Um, and so what I'm going to do is have someone help me build these aquarium racks for this room I have. But I've mentioned in a previous video, it's about 18 by 12 feet. I'm going to rip the carpet up. I'm going to tile it. It's going to be nice and clean. I'm going to put a utility sink with a big cabinet, put some shelves, I'm going to put these aquarium racks that this guy's going to help me build. Um, I'm going to have one for 375 gallons, one for 340 gallons, um, and then one for, I think, three 20-inch uh, longs. And then I have several other um, uh, aquarium stands, I guess, that I can put random things on, um, you know, other setups. So I'll probably have a good six or seven empty spots so um definitely have room for new animals i'm trying to think what i want to keep i, I have three i have three new juvenile uh, salamanders coming um probably in the next few weeks wanted to wait until after the holidays that's going to be a surprise i'm going to do a video i'm not making a setup for them yet because they still have their uh their gills and um they're going to be adults probably not in, you know not in the not too distant future so i want to put those um those three in a uh a mainly um land, you know, a terrestrial setup, but with, with some water, but I don't want it to be, over, you know, too much water. So I'm just waiting. I'm going to put them in something temporary until they morph uh, into adults. But 
Um, but I'm gonna have a lot of room to, to do stuff. Then I also have um, a lot of really cool, uh, I, I collect antique, I mean, as you can see behind me, I mean, I collect all kinds of antique war posters and all kinds of crazy stuff and things that have to do with finance since I worked on Wall Street for such a long time. But, um, but I have a lot of really cool lithographs and other anatomical charts for salamanders. I'll show you guys here in a second. So, like I was saying, here's a couple of the really cool things I have. Tiger salamanders, frogs. Uh, it's a red. You can barely see it, but it's a red. And um, spring salamanders, same picture. Um, mud puppies, things like that. Um, fire salamanders. So I have all kinds of really cool um, salamander art, <laughs> amphibian art. I have a lot of this stuff. And a couple other in, on the way in the mail that I really wanted. Um, so the walls are going to be set up with these, these types of things right here. So what I'm going to do is have all that cool antique stuff up on the wall, and then I'm going to get some a nice rug or something. I don't even know. Something in the middle, and then I, what I really want to get, I don't know if I'll be able to find this, is one of those round couches that's got a big piece of wood. You used to see them in old lo like lobbies of old hotels with sectioned off like a circular sofa. Something like that. So no matter where you sit, you can see a tank in a really beautiful setup. And so that's, that's what I have planned. Um, construction is going to probably start in the next month or two. I'm um, just having some other things in the basement done right now. Um, and once that's done in the next week or so, um, we're going to, I think, uh, draw up the rest of the plans for the room and, uh, it's going to be, it's going to be great. So, um, we'll be posting videos as we get closer to that time and, uh, appreciate you, um, tuning in and glad I can, uh, share my builds with people who are interested in it. And, you know, obviously glad to, to answer any questions and, and, and uh, help. So, great. Thanks.